Hey everyone, this is Jorge Yao, and I'm back with another Clash of Clans video. Now, this time I wanted to create a new series on my YouTube channel uh, called War Raids. Now, I know I know a lot of YouTube uh, channels already have their own series on War Raids, but I kind of wanted to uh, highlight especially 44 family war raids and kind of how we do wars. Now in North 44, uh, in the past, we weren't really serious about wars, but I think recently uh, we've become a little bit more serious. We kind of have a schedule now on when we want to do wars. So in this series, I kind of want to uh, focus on good attacks, some three-star attacks, some not so good attacks, some great defensive wins, and so on and so forth. So in this war raid right now that's happening, uh, it's a 10 on 10 war. It's against uh, VZLA champions, um, and as, I think that stands for Venezuela champions, I could be wrong. Uh, so both clans have used 15 attacks so far, and they are up by 3 stars. So we're not looking too hot right now, and uh, I know BJ is probably recording some videos on this, and we're probably going to do a collaboration at some point um, regarding war raids. But uh, looking at the uh, the war log right now, BJ is the only base that's been uh, one star. Every single other base has been two stars. So let's take a look at um, the attacker on his base and you know how he did. So it, a guy named Yorwin VZLA, I guess Venezuela. He got 48% on BJ can die. So let's take a look at that uh, real quick, and I'll do some commentary on it. So this base actually, I'm surprised BJ is using this because it's not really an anti three star base. But it's a pretty good, it's a decent base, and he went a little bit risky with, uh, so I'm going to pause it real quick. Uh, he went pretty risky with three expos on ground, and now that's just asking for an air raid, like a Lava Loonian to come in and basically rinse this base. So, um, I don't know why he chose that, but so far he's only been one star, maybe there's going to be a cleanup attacker who's going to use air. But I'm surprised it's a ground attacker. So the ground attacker is using a go wipe strategy with four earthquake spells. It's pretty common these days with one rage, two freeze, and a poison. Now the heroes aren't that uh, strong, so maybe that's the difference. The guy ended up getting, I think, 48%. So maybe that was the difference between uh, a one star and a two star. So let's take a look at it right now. Let all of them pause it. So at first, you see the guy basically used four earthquake spells to break into the center. Now that's a very common strategy. He actually broke through two layers of walls, so that makes it really easy for troops to funnel right into the core, uh, which is what you don't want. Uh, so let's see what what he what went well and what didn't go well. Uh, fast forwarded by accident, but let's take a look. So he's doing he's using a wall breaker to break through the wall. So he's basically got a clear shot to the middle. Hopefully the golems don't wander. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So he's going right side with some more wall breakers. So you kind of already know that he's going to drop some golems um, and funnel uh, and, uh, with a back line drop some wizards. So that's exactly what he did. So he got right side, middle, and bottom left side with golems and then the wizards behind and then the king and the queen. I think he dropped the king and queen a little bit too early. I think that the P.E.K.K.A should have been dropped uh, sooner than they were. And I think the wizards were dropped a little bit too early too. Um, but then again, you know, it's, it's working out pretty well. See, as you can see, the troops are funneling all the way to the middle already. The golems are funneling already. Uh, you know, he used one freeze on the multi-inferno. Uh, he probably should have saved that freeze for, uh, there you go, the other freeze for the single target inferno. Um, and you can actually see like the golems are doing work, um, the king's already dead, now the queen is there to basically do cleanup. Um, now if she was a level 40 queen, I think she would be able to take down the town hall pretty easily as she still has the ability. She's attacking the town hall right now and you can see that the, her ability is not popped, the single target friend was attacking her so um, pop the ability and there goes the town hall. Now it's 43% and he has six archers and one barbarian left, so not much. So not many troops for cleanup afterwards. He's using an archer there, uh, top right for that uh, elixir collector, um, and then an archer down left for another elixir collector. So he's trying to pick off the extra five percent that he needs. So with those two collectors, that brings him to forty-seven percent. Let's see if he can get to the two star with. So he's at forty-seven percent basically after those two. So he needs three percent, and he has one barbarian and three archers. Is there anything he can pick off now? Um, he uses a Barbarian there, doesn't really work, the Barbarian is kind of a meat shield, and then the Mortar is going to take out that Archer, I don't know if the Mortar can reach, no, I think he wasted one of the Archers, oh uh, no he didn't, okay, so he uses the two last, last Archers to take out that uh, Troop Camp, 
And there you go, that 47%, um, 48%, excuse me, with that bottom archer down there. So he, I think he could easily two-star this base. Uh, if he had higher heroes, I think they would have lasted a little bit longer. But overall, pretty good attack um, using the four earthquakes. You see that pretty common nowadays, especially with uh, Go Wipe or Go Wee Wee. So overall, pretty good attack. Now, let's move on and take a look at some other uh, attacks, basically, from our end. So let's see, War Events. Uh, so you see, I wanted to kind of see what uh, BJ Can Dive has been using. Um, so BJ, he did a one star on the Peligro uh, attack. He uh, did a two star on Yorwin. Uh, oh, so he, he attacked the same, uh, basically the same number, 10 vs 10. V 10. So let's see him uh, actually attack him. I think he's using, okay, so BJ can dive using the, so this is a kind of, not really premature, but um, the walls are a little bit less upgraded than you think. He's using four earthquake spells, so something new on his end, I think. I think he might be trying some new strategies. He's using Go Wipe right now. Um, surprisingly, because he's fallen in love with the Quatra Lava Lunian attack, and he's been having a lot of success with his push, with Quatra Lava Lunion, but I guess in this attack he wanted to try something new and different. So as you can see, he uh, he breaks off the core walls with the four earthquakes. Um, there's a dragon in the CC, which I don't really recommend. I, I prefer either a hound, a lava hound, or a golem. The dragon's just not as powerful as those, and the the lava hounds really stall your troops, especially the queen if she's you know gets roped in with that. So I think that that attack, uh, that composition in the CC is a little bit better. So the wizards are pretty much all dead, but you have the golems, you have both king and queen, um, and the rage dog. You have both of their abilities still there. So queen's getting targeted by the uh, single target inferno. Um, he pops the ability, gets the one star already at 37%. King's ability is popped. Now let's see what he does to get to the other. Uh, so he is at 42%, he needs 8% left. Um, so he has two golems and one king basically just, uh, the golems are basically acting as a meat shield and the king's dead. So you still have the golems, you have one, one, uh, massive golem and then two baby golems. And now you can just see, he's just picking off the remaining buildings. Now, the golems are basically acting as meat shields right now for all the defensive troops while his extra cleanup crew is basically picking off the extra base, uh, extra defenses, uh, gold collectors and so on and so forth to get the extra percentage so that's actually a really good strategy a lot of players you know they'll wait and then by the time the golem's already dead then you know the defenses will hit the the extra troops so uh smart on bj to actually use those extra troops while the defenses are um preoccupied with the golem uh now it's at 49 percent. so this is actually a really close raid to be honest now uh, that one archer is really going to come in clutch and take out that last storage, or not storage, collector, gold collector, and get that 50%. So that's a two star right there. Uh, without that, you know, he probably wouldn't have gotten it. So that was a really clutch raid on BJ to get the two star on that. Um, not the best that I've seen, but you know, good job on BJ. Good attack. Um, pretty good base actually. This was more characteristic of an anti three star base that you would see uh, characteristically of uh, most war bases, I guess. Um, so let's see if there's any other attacks that I want to kind of highlight. So if there hasn't been any three stars yet. Um, we had we so Kurobakai has only been one star. There's a, oh <laughs> apparently there's a whole, another Jorge in here. He's only been one star. Um, a lot of bases. So one, two, three, four. Four bases that still uh, can get another star on. So, and we have what five attacks left. So we're just waiting on the cleanup crew basically to do their attacks. And once that happens, hopefully we can come out with the win. Now, um, I've seen clans. I think I, I think the highest I've seen a clan so far is level eight. So we're really kind of behind right now because I think I think a lot of the top clans are already level six. So and we're still level five. So, but either way, though, the more wars that you participate in, you still get clan XP even if you lose the wars. So it doesn't hurt to keep warring even if you lose. So. Um, so I think uh, for North 44 at least, I think we're starting to do a lot more uh, war raids because uh, at the end of the day, once you get uh, higher up in, in clan level, um, it has a lot of good alliance perks where you'll you be able to do donate more troops and so on and so forth. Right now, I think you can download or uh, you can donate six troops, excuse me, uh, total. So that's pretty big in terms of uh, filling up troop 
uh, donations and things of that nature, especially if you're donating big troops. Um, you know, 6-6 six, six is a huge difference. So, um, But yeah, this ends it for this first episode of War Raids. Uh, if you guys like this video, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.